Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding customer who visited but did not make any transactions and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions in such problems. This question has been asked in Nerd Wallet interviews over the past two years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called visits with two different columns, visit ID and the customer ID, with visit ID being the primary key for this table. This table contains information about the customers who visited the mall. Also, we are, we are given a second table called transactions with three different columns, transaction ID, visit ID and the amount of that transaction. Transaction ID being the primary key for this table. This table contains information about the transactions made during the visits. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the IDs of the users who visited without making any transactions. Okay, so who visited but didn't make any transaction and the number of times they made these type of visits where they didn't have any transactions, right? The order of the result does not matter. So let's go through this example, right? So this is the visits table with certain records and these are the customer IDs associated with each of the visit ID, right? And these are the transactions table. So if you see only these are the visit IDs where a transaction was made. So one, two and five. So one, two and five. So only customer ID 23, nine and 54 made the transactions, right? But within on visits four, six, seven and eight, there was no transaction made and this are associated with 30, 96 and 54, right? So 54, the customer ID 54 in one of the visits did have a transaction, but in other couple of visits, there was no transaction. So since uh, there is nothing in this transactions table with visit ID 7 and 8, so a couple of times this customer didn't buy anything or didn't have any kind of transaction. So the output should be for customer ID, ID 54, we have two kind of such interactions, right? So 54, two for customer ID 30, we have one interaction. So basically this visit ID four is not in this table and for 96 as well, right? Six is not in this table. So the first thing that we need to do this is we need to merge the in from these two tables. Right. So we need to see that for each of the visits, do we have a transaction associated with it? If we do, we exclude those rows. And if the transaction ID is null for that particular visit, then we only keep those rows. Why we are keeping only those rows? Because it says to find the IDs of the user who visited without making any transaction. So if you are not making a tiny transaction, there is not going to be any data in the transactions table. And when you do a left join of visits table on transactions table, the transaction ID would be null, right? So let's start from the visits table alias as we left to join the transactions table alias as t on v dot visit id is equal to t dot visit id right so basically what is this going to have so let's say for visit id 1 customer id 23 it will try to see oh so visit id 1 yeah so visit id 1 has transaction id of 12 visit id of 1 and what was the amount of the transaction 910 but for let's say so on and let's say for visit id 4 right so for visit id 4 customer id 30 there is nothing in this table or there is no value that is 4 in the visit id column of transactions table so all you return is null in the transactions id null in the visit id null in the amount column right so we are only required to keep such records where the transaction id is null so after performing the join we are only keeping those rows where the transaction id is in the transactions table so t dot transaction id is null now after we do this 
we will only have such kind of rows right so we have only such kind of rows which with visit id the customer id and then the transaction ids and everything is null and then what we can do is we can group by this customer id and try to find out the number of visits where the transaction was null right so what we can do is group by the customer ids and customer id column is in the will table so v dot customer id then we can go ahead and return the same so v dot customer id and then we can count the visit id so we can count the visit id column from the visits table so v dot visit id and why i didn't do distinct count because it was mentioned that visit id is the primary key of this table so it is all anyway going to be null non null unique values right so count this and we need to alias it as count no trans okay so let's go ahead and run this i don't think we had to order the result but let's check yeah so we didn't need to order any anything so let's go ahead and run this and see if this is accepted or not okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit and see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we solve this question i hope the logic made sense and this was a very easy question uh, but all you need to do was you know try to merge the information and only keep those records where there was no transactions and then you can group by the customer id and count the visit ids right so yeah i hope you guys found this video useful let me know if this video was useful and until then i will see you guys in the next video